Hi everybody. Hello there. Jerry. Linda and Gizmo. We're the village's newcomers. We try to bring you items that we feel are of interest to retirees everywhere really, but particularly right here in the villages. And anytime you have a new lifestyle, and that's what we did, we got a brand new lifestyle down here. There are new charges and new things to be concerned about. Sometimes it feels like they nickel and dime you to death. Yeah, and today we're examining the topic of termites. We don't know a lot about it. I, like I always do, I get online and find out just enough to be dangerous. But we live in a block, that's it right there, we're in, we're in the back of our home. That's the wall of our, outside wall of the back of our home. It's block and stucco, and it's concrete. And it's on a concrete slab. And back in Indiana, we had a stick-framed home on a basement with wooden rafters and wooden floor joists and uh, we were concerned, but do we need to be concerned here? I'm not sure. So we have an expert come in here today and we're gonna hear what he has to say and decide whether we need the added expense of termite protection and find out what that entails. We have invited uh, Superior Services, which uh, does our regular landscaping to come and give us an estimate on termite control. And we have Josh, Josh from Superior Services, welcome. Thank you, sir, glad to be here. Tell us about a termite. You know, people see flying ants and think they're termites. How can somebody distinguish between the two? So the difference between ants and termites, um, a termite will have a two-part body. They have their head and then the rest of the body after that. Um, an ant will have a three-part body. So that's one way to distinguish the difference. Um, also, there's a few other features um, as far as wing length on the swarming termites um, versus the swarming ants. Um, there's quite a few differences where if you have a sample, um, if you see what you think might be termites, um, it's always good to hold on to it until you know, we can have a, a professional look at it and, and verify if it is or is not a termite. Okay. Yeah, because I wouldn't know the difference. So termites generally have wings? Uh, no, sir. So there's different, um, just like uh, ants or bee colonies, there's different types of termites within the same colony. Um, there's workers, soldiers, uh, swarmers are the ones that have the wings. So a swarming termite, um, it takes three to five years for a colony to establish swarmers. And within that time, the swarmer's sole purpose is to create a new colony somewhere else. Um, so different um, times during the year, especially in the springtime, um, different weather patterns can trigger a swarm. Um, and then once that colony swarms, those, those swarming termites are the ones that you see with wings. And um, their, their sole purpose is to create that new colony. So they swarm, end up wherever they end up, and then go back into the soil. In the villages here, a lot of homes are like mine. You can see behind you, that's stucco on concrete block. I always thought that the insects wouldn't be a problem in a home like this. Is that true? It's not. Um, so that is probably the most common thing we hear when we talk about termite coverage, um, because uh, you know, if I have a block home, I shouldn't have to worry about it. Um, the main thing is, you know, in Florida, the, the soil is very sandy. There's gonna be settling, no matter what you do on any house in Florida, it's gonna settle. Um, and the termites only need the size of a sheet of paper to be able to get through. So with that settling, um, there can be small cracks that the termites get in, can get into. And even though it's a block home, I mean, there's all the trim inside, different things. Um, you know, garage doors are framed out in wood. And our coverage, not only do we protect the structure of the home, um, our policy actually covers the contents of your home as well. So if you were to have termites get into, let's say, some antique furniture, an heirloom or something like that, um, you know, it would be on us to cover that, to replace that if termites were to, dam uh, to damage that after we've done the treatment and you have that coverage with us. Okay. Well, so far today, when you came, you kind of did a walk around my home. How does it look at first inspection? It looks like it qualifies for our preventive treatment, um, which means there's no visible signs of live subterranean termite activity, no visible signs of any termite damage, uh, current or, you know, from old damage. Um, so it, it does, you know, look like it's free and clear of termites. Um, the main thing about adding the termite protection is that if you were to ever have any termites in the in the um, going forward, it would be on us to do, to take care of them. Um, our coverage is a retreat and repair guarantee. So if you were to get termites, not only would we be responsible for treating and getting rid of that colony, um, it'd also be on us to do any repairs that would um, you know be a result of, of what they they have done. Okay. So with uh, this policy that uh, that I'm, we may take out with you today. Does that include periodic inspections? Is it an annual inspection? 
Yes, sir. It is an annual inspection, um, but just like our other services, um, it's unlimited service calls. So if throughout that year, in between the annual inspections, you were to find something and you said, hey, I think I might have termites, um, we would come out at no cost and check that for you. Um, and every every fifth year, we actually do a retreatment, um, and we don't charge anything extra for that as well, as long as you have that current service with us. Well, I have to say about Superior, you know, we, we went through... Uh, the process of trying to do it ourselves first with insecticides and fertilizers and whatnot. And we're from Indiana and we expected bugs to be everywhere down here, but they're not. You know, we haven't seen many bugs, probably because of the, the treatment. But Linda's one, when she sees an ant, she goes berserk. She doesn't, she's not scared of it, but she does not want it in the house. So I will say that Superior has come out you know, at a moment's notice and uh, helped us out. So we appreciate that. Yes, so that's sir. why I've had you here to give you the uh, chance to uh, tell me and possibly sign up for your termite protection. Can you kind of tell us what it costs? Um, so it, it varies on what services you currently have with us as well as um, the linear footage of the treatment that we're gonna do around your home. Um, bigger homes um, go, you know, the cost goes up a little bit, um, but starting out, um, if you have current services with us and your home is under 250 linear feet, um, it would be $500 um, with the current services um, to add that protection. Um, but with like you guys have our THP, which is our pest lawn and shrub service. Um, with that service, we actually include the termite coverage each year at no additional cost, um, as long as you have those services, those other services with us. Um, so the average um, you know, going rate to renew a termite contract is between $150 to $200 a year. Um, since you guys already have that other service with us, you don't pay that extra bit every year. We actually include that as a customer loyalty program. Well, excellent. And by the way, you said 250 linear feet. How, how big is my house in, in your estimation? Um, we haven't done the graph yet, so we'll do that here going forward. Um, but it doesn't look like it'd be over the 250 linear feet. Um, generally, um, the average size home um, in this area generally is under that unless there's a pool on the back, things like that. Okay. Um, or there can be some other factors um, with the concrete. But we treat around the entire perimeter and then up to the edge of the driveway. And then where the driveway is, we come down five feet either side as well as sidewalks coming off the house. Okay. Um, like this patio here, we treat around the outside of that as well. Excellent. Um, and that's all. It's a continuous chemical barrier all the way around the base of your home um, to prevent termites from coming in. Do you want to continue your outdoor inspection and then do your graph or whatever it is you do and let us know, uh, you know, what you think? Yes, sir. Yeah, we can go ahead and get that taken care of right now. All right, so this is our Termidor HP system. Um, the equipment's all on a bed slide here. Um, so this does, um, this is how we apply the termite treatment. It's a high pressure liquid injection into the soil. Um, we use this product, this is called a PID, precision injection device. And the way this works compared to traditional um, older style termite treatments is it takes all the guesswork out of mixing the product. That product, um, we hook this water line up to the spigot at the house and it actually mixes the Termidor treatment in this machine as it injects into the soil. Um, and then that just, um, you know, takes, takes any type of operator error out of the equation. It gives it the exact dilution it needs for that treatment um, against the home. And once that product is injected into the soil, it's rated for 15 plus years. Um, the only thing that will mess this treatment up is if you actually dig the dirt out and remove that soil. 
Um, and in that case, as long as you continue to have that termite coverage with us, we actually will come back and retreat that at no cost. Um, if you have the house painted, different things like that, where the dirt would actually be removed. So, um, but this is, this is what gets the job done here. Um, I'll start here if you want to start there kind of with the Termidor HP that cuts the treatment time way down from the older style of trenching um, uh, but with you know with rocks as a landscaping the prep time takes a little bit and then the cleanup with uh, raking everything back in afterwards um, areas like this where it's just grass there's no prep or cleanup involved um, we can just go ahead and treat that area um, just with different types of landscaping there's a little bit of different prep involved with it so what we're doing here um, is just clearing the, the rock out of the way. Um, the only, actually the only thing that goes into the soil is liquid. There's no metal rods that's going to puncture any irrigation lines, anything like that. Um, it is a high pressure liquid injection. Um, just the purpose of moving the rocks is because that high pressure is about 4,000 PSI of liquid shooting out of the bottom of the PID. So what that does is if it hits a rock or hits some overpour, it'll splash up. Um, we do have a feature on there where we can actually spray just water and clean up as we go when it does splash up. Because no matter how careful we are with the prep work, there is still sometimes some overpour underneath the soil, things like that. Um, but we clean up as we go with that, and then when it's all said and done, get everything raked back in and um, just try to make it look like we've never been here. But like I said, with the, with the grass, there's no prep there. So. The, uh, the deck on the bottom of the PID is about the injection part is about six inches by about four inches or so so we just have to to clear where the uh, where the injections actually come out Right. The way this varies from the uh, older style trench and treat type treatments. So with it being a liquid injection, um, it has the injection points on the bottom of the PID where it's real fine holes that shoot down in. Um, trench and treat treatments, you'd actually have to pull the weed mat up and dig it you know, down in six inches for a treatment, um, which would cause the dirt to come in the rock beds, things like that, and just a lot more disruptive than this style treatment. Um, there's some, some other types of treatments out there where they do rotting. Um, which leaves you know big holes in the in the weed mat all the way around your house every 12 inches or so um, So once it's all said and done, this is a much less disruptive treatment than previous um, type of termite treatments available Um, it's called Termidor. Um, it's the number one termiticide on the market. Um, we've been using this since it came out in, in 2000. Um, there's been a few different types of Termidor since then, um, but this is the Termidor HP, which stands for high precision, which is what this injection system is called, the Termidor HP system. And so we just add this concentrate to the bit to the PID here, um, and then it pumps water all the way up to here and mixes as we inject into the soil. There's other termite products on the market, liquid treatments as well, um, but there is not any out there um, that are rated for the length of time and the control like, like Termidor is. 
ants and roaches, different things like that, they definitely don't like it either. <laughs> it is, uh, Termidor HP is only labeled for termites specifically though. There we go. So when it splashes up like that, just because of the pressure, um, we can take water right out of the bottom of the PID and just clean off as we go. Um, because the Termidor actually doesn't mix into that water line until the injection takes place. Get a little tight in some areas, but as in the past the trench and treat method we'd actually have to trench up the grass and it you know it'd go back and grow back eventually but it, you could definitely tell something had been done there um with this once we're done with the treatment you really can't even tell it was there was anything done in that area so a lot less disruptive on you know the lawn against the house and things like that And you can just see the amount of pressure it's putting in the ground. Sometimes where the grass is, you can just see it swell up um, as we do the injections. Go a little closer to the bricks. And uh, BASF is the company that created Termidor in the HP system. They've done a lot of studies, and um, so this this machine, even with that high pressure injection, won't puncture any irrigation lines, um, any type of electrical lighting wires for outdoor lighting, anything like that. Um, it might splash a little bit when it hits those, but it won't, it won't puncture them at all. So with this treatment, um, if you have pets, um, th there isn't usually any type of residual or anything like that because it is injected into the soil. Um, but just as a precaution, you want to keep them out of that treatment area for about two hours after we're done. Um, once it's dry, there's no harm at all for any type of pets. And it is injected about 12 inches into the ground. Now we're good with that part. How'd everything go? Good, very good. So just finished up the treatment and now it's time for some cleanup.
this is kind of just hanging out over here? Uh, yeah, that was, yeah, back there's a drainage line. set with the treatment um, just have some paperwork here for your records um, and then also a sticker on uh, the state of Florida requires a notice to be posted um, on the door of the electrical panel after a treatment um, so we just have that here with the treatment and inspection date as well as the product we used and um, what we're treating for so we're all set basically for five years but you guys will give a, a visual inspection every year yes sir so Termidor is rated for 15 plus years um, but we do retreat every five years um, and then we do that automatically as part of our agreement with you, as long as you keep that service current. Um, but every single year, we come out and we do a visual inspection inside and out, just make sure there's no signs of any termite activity or anything out of the ordinary as far as termite protection goes. I want the viewers to know that I chose Superior Services because they take care of our entire lawn as far as insects, uh, weed prevention, fertilization, and I pay for that just like everybody else here in the villages. So when it came time for termites, that's who I, who I gave a call to. And I really was impressed with the way you guys went around and, and treated every foot around the perimeter, basically. Yes, sir. And it's a continuous chemical barrier. All and then you refilled everything. And like you said, it, it's, I can't even tell you were out there. But uh, that's, that's the goal. All right. I appreciate that. What do we need to do next? You're very welcome. Um, just have um, just this sticker to put on the door of the breaker box. Um, and then um, just you know some work, uh, paperwork for your records. As you can see, we went ahead with the process. And now our happy home is termite protected. Yeah, and it gives us a peace of mind, I think. I think that's exactly what it gives us, peace of mind. And it's uh, it's gonna be maybe important to people if we ever sell the home that it has been yeah. maintained and termite protected. I agree. Until next time. See you when you get here.